What's going on guys, it is Wells Dragon DSU here. I'm back to another FIFA 18 career mode tutorial. Guys, I'm gonna tell you how to start a budget on one million pounds. There's a set way that I like to do it, and it's the best way I think you can actually do a career mode on a million pound budget. It's all about investment. There's a lot of things to it. But anyway, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna break that down for you. But guys, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe for plenty more daily FIFA 18 content. And let's get on into the first tip. Okay, so tip number one is your youth squad. When you're in League 2 or doing a Rope the Glory team, you will tend to have this £1 million budget. And this is a massive opportunity to actually invest in your youth. This is an opportunity to watch your team develop, get some younger players in who actually will be able to slot into your team. Because a lot of players in League 2 are only around high 50s, low 60s. So you'll be able to actually sign quite a lot of 16, 17 year olds in your team, get a lot of depth, and be able to switch players out and be able to actually sign quite a lot of little youth players. But one little cheat you can actually do with this is also scout future star. Get one of those players in, you know you got yourself an absolute cracker in a couple of years time. So with this youth as well, you only want to be putting about a hundred grand in your actual scouts. It's a good starting point to get you started. And then you have a few bits of money left over to actually go ahead and send a scout out to different countries. <laughs> Okay, now moving on to my second tip, which is where you're going to be spending about £300,000 of your budget. So actually one of the biggest chunks that you'll actually take. But what you need to realise, this is going to be a star player that you're going to buy. This is a player who is around 70 rated or so, I would say. He's a little older than the rest of your players, but he's going to come into your team and he's going to destroy the opposition. Whether you want to get a centre-back, a striker, or a midfielder, it's entirely up to you. But my recommendation is someone down the middle preferably a striker just because if you are in lead two and you got yourself like a 70 rated striker for 300k you're gonna be banging in those goals every single week and winning every single game you'll be able to sort out your defense and midfield with your youth players <laughs> Now moving on to another tip, we only have 600,000 left now and this one's going to be taking another big budget, it's 400 grand that's coming out of your budget but this is another big investment that I'm going to be wanting for you guys. This is a youth star, a young player which is actually in FIFA like with the likes of Gomez, Nelson, lots of young players, 16, 17 year olds you can actually bring to your team for only a couple hundred grand. What you need to realize in FIFA 18 career mode, there is a lot of players like these. It's all about searching and finding them out. If you want to do, find out more players like that, check out my videos, the links are in the description, or make sure you go check out sofifa.com. That's where I find out a lot of my information as well as on the game. So make sure you go ahead, sign that particular play, because what you need to realize, this player could make you a lot of profit in the future, or he could actually score a lot of goals or play really well for you and develop into an absolute star player. So it's entirely up to you how you play it, you keep him or you sell him in the future, but make sure you buy a, a young star player for 400 grand. So now moving on to my final tip. This is entirely up to you how you play this. In my opinion, you should really do it, but it's about leaving over money. So this 200 grand that we have left over in our budget, you need to really consider leaving until January. The only reason I say this is because if you end up signing some youth players, you have a little bit more extra cash. If you want to improve the team in January, you can. I've been in Cremos where I've been playing my team, using it, and been like, oh my God, I've hit a struggle, and I can't improve the team in January. That's what the 200k is left over for. And of course, it's trying to limit it to you not actually selling players. That's why the 200 grand's there but you'll be able to improve your team in January with it. But guys, that's my final tip. And what a cracking few tips they are. Let me know in that comment section below if you're going to be using any. But anyway, guys, my name is Welsh and Yeshi, and I hope you all enjoyed this video. Just giving you a little tip on how to start a road to glory. A lot of you have been looking for these type of videos, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to make you one. And I've got a lot of experience on doing road to glory, so I think, you know what, it's pretty good to try and master it from a million pounds. So that is my tips, guys. Let me know in the comment section below if you've done any of these or if you actually have any tips for anyone else yourself when you only have a million pound budget. But guys, my name is Wild Shiny Hershey and guess what? I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.